right, love and light, Gemini. This is going to be your weekly love reading. The Four of Wands and the Two of Cups when I split the deck. This is a love reading, you guys. This is starting out good. In the pre-shuffle, the Two of Pentacles came out. That was the first card that flew out. And as I split the deck to shuffle, we see the Four of Wands and Two of Cups. And the Two of Pentacles, number one, is about uh, undecidedness, juggling, someone may be feeling... Um, maybe there's, you know, an imbalance or someone could be feeling overwhelmed or there could be a decision. Somebody could be undecided about a choice they need to make. But it, it's, as I'm splitting the deck, the four of wands and two of cups here, this is about um, a, a love connection that could be twin flame, right? Or soulmate energy, very strong union. You, you might be ready to come into union with someone who loves you, a very loving, kind person, mutual loving energy, very stable energy here. The coming together of two people who are looking for the same thing at the same time. You could be manifesting this, so we might see the magician. All right, you could be busy manifesting this, or you could just be busy doing certain things in your life right now. You could be very busy and focused on other things, and then you're manifesting love. Let's see, show me for Gemini, please. I like this energy already for Gemini. Look at this. Nine of Cups. This is not going to be forced. This is going to happen naturally. A wish fulfillment. This is just, just gorgeous, beautiful, happy, content energy. Okay? Very content. There's a connection here you're going to be very satisfied and content with. Okay, Nine of Cups is also about satisfaction and contentment. Your heart's desires, feeling content with that. Ooh, Gemini, look at you. You're going to be very content, like I just said. This is your energy showing up with the lovers. A, a very passionate, beautiful connection. Very passionate, beautiful connection. All right. Look at that, an emperor, divine. There's a divine masculine here who, and I'm gonna cover this up because I don't, I'm gonna just turn this over, okay? Because YouTube has been, you know, yeah, anywho. So the emperor is, to, you could be a divine masculine. If you are a divine masculine, this is coming towards you. There's a choice here, right? Um, or uh, you have a divine masculine coming towards you, your divine counterpart, who again could be your twin, okay? This is, the emperor is someone here who's, who wants a healthy uh, connection. This person has control over their emotions. They know what they want. They're very decisive, very calculated. This is someone who knows what they want and they're not settling for just anything. Show me what else for Gemini. This person could be an Aries. Ooh, this is gonna be strong, passionate connection with the lovers and the ace of wands, you guys. This is very exciting. This is gonna be very exciting for you. You're going to find this person very attractive or this person is going to find you very attractive here. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of strong physical chemistry and connection between the two of you. Uh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful energy. What else for your nine love? Look at this. The Knight of Cups fell right on top of the, um, look at this. Right on top of the Nine of Cups. A love offer, a romantic love offer. This is beautiful energy. Oh my gosh. Bottom of the deck is the Queen of Pentacles. This new person could be a, uh, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, but they don't have to be here now, Gemini. This is just, this divine masculine sees this feminine. They see the worth and the value of this feminine. This is someone that when this emperor sees this Queen of Pentacles, they're going to see this person as very loving, very nurturing, and very kind, uh, very loyal. They're going to see you as wife material, husband material, okay? Someone they could have children with because Queen of Pentacles is a, someone here who... Um, is a very good like nurturer, home giver, um, caretaker, I guess, yeah. Very responsible person, suits an emperor very well. We may even see the empress come out here, especially since we saw the two of cups and the four of wands, because that's about a union, right? Duality. What was that? 
Look at this, King of Cups and the Seven of Cups. Whew. Man, somebody's been dreaming about this. Somebody's been dreaming about this. There have been some struggles in the past, nine of wands. Somebody's not giving up on love. This is the energy that I'm getting here, Gemini. There we go with the King of Pentacles. So I feel like this is the same person showing up here, right? Because the Emperor is all of the kings combined, right? And remember, we just saw the Queen of Pentacles. So there is your match. There is your divine counterpart, right? So the two of you show up equally for each other in the same way. You reflect back to each other. What this person sees in you, you see the same in them. This person views you as the queen of pentacles. Roles can be reversed if you're, depending on if you're the divine feminine or the divine masculine here, right? Um, but this person, I feel like, ha just has love to give. Um, but they are still offer this security, right? They, they offer this stability. This is good news here. This is communication coming in, you guys. Very passionate connection. Like I said, strong chemistry, beautiful, beautiful energy, Gemini. All right, let's see here. What's the Seven of Cups about here? Show me the Seven of Cups. You know, I also feel like, too, this, if you are the Divine Masculine, whoever the Divine Masculine is here in this situation, depending on how it resonates for you, Gemini, this Divine Masculine has options, okay? I feel like this Divine Masculine can have whoever they want. Right, this is someone who's very sought after. This is someone who has control over their emotions. They're very successful. This person could be in the military or in a leadership position or own a business here. This person is very successful. They have a lot of options, but when they see you or when you see them, they're choosing. They're choosing. They're choosing the perfect fit for them. Let's see what the Seven of Wands, um, Seven of Cups is about. Excuse me, Seven of Cups. Clarify the Seven of Cups, please. Obsession. The Devil. Somebody can have Capricorn in their chart. Clarify these Seven of Cups. Seven of Swords, this is illusions. Whoa, lies, deception, illusions. Someone here, man, five of pentacles. This emperor could have dealt with a lot of someone who was a connection who was just deceived or, you know, they could have been deceived in the past here. Lied to in the past, so this person could have been in a, this could be you if you dealt with Toxic energy, deceiving energy here. Clarify the Seven of Cups. Yeah, there was a Queen of Wands. This person dealt with someone here who looked great on the outside, but on the inside, this person was pretty much trash. And I don't mean to be so judgmental, but the way that this is showing up with the devil and the seven of swords, like this person acted like someone who they were not. They put up a facade towards this emperor. This person could have maybe tried using this emperor for whatever it is that they, that they had, but they ended that with this person. Death card. Yeah, see, this is, but see, this emperor was enlightened. This emperor was enlightened for sure. Shall we clarify this emperor for me, please, Spirit? Clarify the emperor. Yeah, this emperor is now single and disconnecting from this Queen of Wands energy. This emperor is single, okay? Like I said, they're a hot commodity, but the, whoever this emperor is dealing with, this Queen of Wands, is like. <sighs> Yeah, they weren't a good person. I hate to say that. They were not a good person. Clarify the Queen of Wands, please. Clarify the Queen of Wands. See, yeah, that's that first card that came out, juggling. 
I feel like this Queen of Wands, Jovo lied, cheated, was very toxic. You know, at one point when this this emperor was with this Queen of Wands, they didn't commit to them. This person had a lot of options, right? Or or this Queen of Wands had a lot of options. Um, or put up some form of illusion. This this emperor was very undecided about this person, but I feel like they, they've ended it. They're now single. They're in this Nine of Pentacles energy, which tells me this person is, is not in a relationship or commitment with this Queen of Wands, okay? This Queen of Wands really pretty much juggled this emperor, and yeah, and betrayed them. Ten, this is There was an ending. They ended this with this person. Thank you, Spirit. Ten of Swords. This person backstabbed and betrayed your person and put up illusions. Tried to confuse this person and, like I said, acted like there was something else and, you know, I, yeah. <laughs> Let's clarify. I want to go back to the, remember we had the lovers here. I covered that. Why is the lovers here? The lovers, page of swords. Somebody sees this person. This emperor sees this, this is divine feminine. They, they, if you, I don't know if you're the divine feminine or the divine masculine, but this divine masculine is, is secretly watching or just, just sees, sees this divine feminine. Yeah, look at that. Six of cups. They see this divine feminine and they are going to know that's their soulmate and they're making a choice, right? Clarify the lovers. Yeah. This person has a lot of wisdom and experience here. A lot of wisdom and experience. This person sees enough. They have enough wisdom to move forward and make the right decision. That's basically, basically what this is. Yeah. They know that decision is... Just having a new beginning, starting over. I, I they they want a fresh start with a new person, and it's not with this Queen of Wands. Okay, Aries energy, the Fool here. So the zodiac signs we see here are, I mean, really everybody is here. But as far as major arcana, we have Capricorn, we have Aries, we have Virgo, we have Gemini. You came out too with the Lovers energy. Um, and the fool. So yeah, this is really a beautiful energy. So just know when you meet the divine masculine that, that that that's what they experience, and that's why they have all this wisdom. But just know, like this person has a lot of options, Gemini, or this could be you. You have a lot of options, and you're the one with the wisdom. And now you you um, are very experienced and wise person here. There could also be like this person could be maybe a little bit older with you. I'm older than you, or you could be a little older than this person. There could be an age gap here. You know, the hermit has a gray beard. This uh, emperor has a gray beard here. Okay, so, yeah. So just be aware that this person had an ending. I don't see that this is going to affect how the two of you move forward when this comes in. Uh, this person's in a healthy space. They are coming up as the emperor, the king of cups, and the king of pentacles. This person is not stupid. This person sees what's, what this person did to them, and, but they're, they also have a lot of wisdom about it, and now they're moving forward, and they're going to be making this decision, okay, to make, to have this new beginning, right? Look at this. New beginning. This person wants to give, is a gift giver. This person is going to give to this queen of pentacles who they see as their soulmate. And look at what's on the bottom of the deck. The wheel of fortune. This is a gift from the divine. The wheel of fortune is about a gift from the divine. Okay, look at that. The wheel of temperance, this is about a gift. This person has been looking for this. Um, Whoever this person is, they're also showing up as the Queen of Cups, which is so funny how the two of you are mirroring each other. So this could totally be, like, this person could be a Pisces or a Scorpio here. Like, this person, this emperor knows, can see that. they This divine feminine also has gifts. 
they also are the high priestess. They have a very good intuition. They have a lot of wisdom and experience in life too. This person is very giving, just like you are very giving, emotionally available, emotionally mature, right? This is someone who's going to be a team player, three of pentacles, someone that you can build with and grow with. Justice. Somebody is getting their justice after ending a karmic cycle. The world. Huh. Beautiful energy. Gemini, that's your reading. I love you guys. Hit the like button. 